This is episode 63 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, November 1st, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve deep dive into four different styles of barrel-aged craft beers with four unique fruits from four different breweries. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Don't bother me. I'm peeling wax. We got tech guy, Steve. Presents. Ooh, wow. We got a uh, we got a plethora of beers uh, for us today, guys. Plethora? Plethora. You ready? I got a smiley smile on my face from this bad boy. Yeah, what do you got there, Charlie? This is a... Uh, Pilsner Pie from Deschutes, small batch crafted in Deschutes Brewery. Uh, Pilsner aged with key lime and in Pinot Cass. So it's an oak uh, oak aged Pilsner with uh, with Put key the lime. Down. There we go. Look this is what we got. Cool. Let me pour you a little flavor. Flav. <laughs> flavor, flav. Jump in on that. I think this is going to be interesting. Thanks so much. Perfect. I'm a Pilsner fan. I'm a barrel fan. Let's see how big of a Pilsner. Man, that smells good. Key lime. I'm into the key lime. It's like, uh, wouldn't it be something like uh, Keystone Light with their lime in there? (laughs) That's actually pretty good. Super light. Ooh, that is tasty. Yeah. Like a, it tastes like a little cocktail a little bit. Almost. A little, um. It's, it's not. It's not as powerful as I thought it was going to be on the key lime part. You can taste it, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. This is a few years old. So, yeah, the key lime's probably backed off a little bit. Dry it out. Um, this was bottled on 5-4-2016. All right. So we've been uh, been sitting on her for a minute. Uh, you know, some, sometimes you pull them out and you look at them and you go, where the heck is this bit? Yeah, where's... Uh, I thought it was a pure guy? project. <laughs> so it's from Deschutes. Um, yeah, so a, uh, you can definitely taste that Pinot cast. Cass, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's right sur- super end. mellow. I think the, the whole bit. It's a Pilsner. Pilsner. With key lime. Bend, Oregon. There you Good are. Good old Bend, Oregon. So, hey, while we sip on this here, guys, have you guys, do you guys have any interesting beers this week? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> She's going to check on his... Uh, I got to look at my phone. His feed. I'm not even... I don't know what... I. Gosh, let me see. Um, I did. Yeah? I did. I did have beer. Uh, last night, I had... Um, I had a Montucky cold snack. It was delicious. There you go. I mm-hmm. limited myself to one beverage. <laughs> last night. No, but it was super tasty. So Yeah. I tried the new Stone Spirit Shroud Double Hazy IPA. How was it? It was good. It's one of those small batch things that they're doing. An easy drinking double IPA at 9.8%. Mm. Yeah, was it easy drinking? It was. It doesn't sound easy drinking. Yeah, but if you're only having one beer, it's all right. Yeah, it's a good night. <laughs> yeah. Um... It was, uh, hmm. you know what I haven't had in a long time is that Stone and Joy buy. Mm-hmm. I have one in the fridge for, yeah. for October 31st. I yeah. always like to drink them on the day that it says Enjoy buy. Yeah. <laughs> so the, um, so I have a, you know, like, uh, gosh, I didn't, um, I'm trying to think what I had for, I was on call last weekend, I'm trying to think by what I, what I had for memorable beers. You know what I had? I had a bunch of, uh, um, I had some Autobahn from uh, Modern Times. Really? Was that, was that Autobahn? Or Bada- yeah, the brown can. Yeah, the, uh, the the tent beer or whatever. No, actually, that's what it was. I had tent beer. I'm getting this mm. mixed up. Um, Come on. Finishing up, uh, I think it was tent beer. I'm sorry. I uh, can't make up his mind what he's been doing. I know. Yeah, tent beer is what it is. Um, so it's just a fest beer. Mm. Um, you know, it's, it's a collab with Modern Times, Heater Allen. Super tasty. I drank a few of those, um, but it's starting to get towards uh, stout season. It so is. I'm, I'm it's excited rolling about up that. on us. Not today, of course. It was like 97, so. It was warm. It was hot. I sweated it. Mm. 
several perspirations came off my body. Mm -hmm. Mm. I can tell you where they ended up. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) So, what do you uh, what do you think of that, Charlie? I think it's it's easy drinking. It's tasty. I'm surprised. This is a unique flavoring with the key lime, the lager, and the cask. Sure. Does it say cask or does it say? Does it say? Yep, cask. The Pinot cast, 5.8%. I'm kind of impressed with it, actually. I mean, Pilsner with key lime in it, I'd give it a shot any day of the week. Maybe we should have just drank it a little sooner. Might have been a little hair better or a lot better. Who knows? It was all right, though. It was all right. Yeah, I, was, I was pleasantly surprised. Let me uh, let me put it that It's not way. your uh, worst check-in? Is that what you're saying? No, not not my worst. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm interested in your all your check ins, but we're gonna we're gonna get to the next bottle. Ooh man, that's sounding good. What you got there, Charlie? We got a little lost Abby. Mm. And I do mean little because it's a tiny bottle. Ghosts in the forest, oak aged wild ale with guava. What do you think of them apples? So I don't think there's any apples. It looks tasty. So this is a blonde, uh, blonde sour aged in uh, oak voters with added guava. Ooh, you can smell that. That is a that is a nosy beer. Yeah. Gosh, smelling guava. Wonder why. Oh, that one's ready. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a good. It's a keeper Mc, McDuff there. So um, see that pours a, a nice blonde kind of. It's definitely it smells pretty acidic there. Let's. I'm trying to find a date on here. Let's. Uh, date. There's like, oh, here it is. It's under this pile of dust. <laughs> <laughs> it's an 18 too. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't find a date on there. This is before. This is like before we started counting in a numeric system. Well, you know, I, there's a lot of beer in the fridge. There most certainly is. No, I, uh, I, I don't know what the... Um, you can dig in and, you know, make your pick next time and I'll, I'll next, stand by. No, there's... This isn't this isn't old. I was just... Uh, you just give me grief. Oh, man, that's super tasty. It's... it's let's super say mellow. It's a, it's a notch above the last one we had, so... Golly, for sure. Um Wow. I was expecting, you know, when you take that when you take that whiff, it kind of smells like it's going to be, you know, like kind of uh, yeah. um, acidic, and then you, you drink it. It's super, super mild. well balanced. It's really, really mild. I think I picked this up at Valley Farms. Hmm. They got a lot of uh, lost ale over there. You know, the, the difference on wild ales it just seems to be all over. Like this one's really mild. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, how do you tell? Like you get a mild one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, no, they are kind of. Um, I mean, these guys have been making wild ales here in San Diego, some of the best wild ales for a very, very long time. Yeah, the, good ones um, too, not your crappy. Yeah, you know, but but some of them are like kind of all over the, you know, like this is on the mellower side, I think, you know. Much yeah. mellower. I mean, they got that's some good. stuff that's really spicy and stuff that's super sour, and then this is like super mild, in my opinion. But, yeah, the, it's somehow they look. have to. Somehow they have to articulate that maybe a little bit better. Yeah. Because then you would know. You you could look at a bottle and decide. Oh, I could try this one. Like this where it falls. Like a, this would be yeah. This would be a good intro to a wild ale. But I mean, the thing is though, is that they want you to buy them all. Yeah, that's. True. <laughs> so they're not going to differentiate so that you can uh, decide. Oh, this one's going to be perfect. You know. Mm. They'd rather you buy four or five of them than say, "Hey, that one of them wasn't good, but the rest of them are awesome." So, and pretty much with these guys, they're they're all going to be good. I mean, not your average wild ale, please. No, they're really tasty. I have a few bottles that I need to. Uh, um, we have to focus at those guys. Uh, I can't can't even speak, but we got a couple of bottles. Uh, Josh has uh, me and Josh split a membership there. Um, it hasn't really come through as far as the, uh, um, I got kind of bad luck on my beer club. Well, well not, not all of them. Apparently, you can get the Yellow Bus. Yeah, which he has. And the Duck Duck Goose. Uh, which he has. Yep, and some cable car. 
Yeah. There was a, we're missing a couple of bottles, but yeah, no, there's definitely some uh, some pretty pretty good bottles well, those, to have to. Those are three bangers. I mean, they're big hitters. Yeah. Speaking of the Yellow Bus, I still haven't had that beer. I haven't either. But it's going to be at the uh, at um, Mosterland. Mosterland. The uh, uh, really? seventh anniversary yeah, of we're it. We're walking straight there and getting that then. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> um, <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see how that. Uh, we're going right. to go get El Pastor tacos before that, all right? How does that sound? I have a flight extremely early in the morning on Sunday. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm You're going to be teetoting? No, so that was really good. Yeah, that was, uh, um, man, that was phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Super tasty. We should drink this all the time. I would like to, uh, I'm going to put myself on a, uh, on, I'm not going to buy any beer January 1st. It's going to be all like, drink what I got. I say that every year. I like that. Maybe that's what I'll do. Let's give that a shot. For the month of January. The month? No. Mm-hmm. All of 2022. Until it's, <laughs> until until I'm your, sitting your, like... To, to, yeah, yeah. Until Humble C <laughs> sends you an email. <laughs> See, that's the problem. Is I'm so stout heavy that I can't... Like, I simply couldn't do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I... Because I, like... I mean, I love, like... Like... Uh, you know, I got I got a little crispy boy sitting over here, a little humble C D D H. I mean, that's such refresher. a good beer. It'd be difficult to just yeah. not drink any light beers for the month. Mm-hmm. I'll drink them for you. You know, if you're not buying, I'm drinking. That's always a that's always a good uh, good call for me. Okay, next up, we have the Kooks Blend Four uh, Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. Mm. Porter mix. Porter. Yeah. So this is a, this is a blend of um, the Imperial Stout and Porter. Conditioned on raw cocoa nuts. That's right. So these um, these guys with their with their Kooks blends, uh, part of the Kooks clubs is, is you get, um, they do six Kooks blend releases where they give just the Kooks the... Uh, they get two bottles, and that's that's kind of you know you get twelve bottles, and then uh, two of each. So, so this is one of those. Dog, he loves everybody. So the uh, <laughs> um, it says on the side of the bottle what the three barrels were. When we were up there, we when we parked, we walked past that little that little building that mm-hmm. um, that was like kind of their uh, their blendery or their barrel room. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's then they, pretty doggone good for a blend. Yeah, it's all right. Mm-hmm. So they, yeah, I think there's two stout barrels and then a porter barrel. What makes an imperial stout? Oh, so it's a stout porter blend. So a stout and a porter blend. Yep. There you go. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I think it says which bottles. Like, so if we look right here on the side, it says uh, the two, uh, 2021 Kooks Blend 4 is three separate barrel aged beers blended to taste. So barrel one is an imperial stout aged for 13 months in a Heaven Hill. Heaven's Hill Bourbon Barrel. Mm. Uh, barrel two is an Imperial Stout aged for 19 months in a rum barrel. And barrel three is an Imperial Porter aged for 12 months in a coconut rum barrel. Mm. Once oh. blended, this beer was conditioned on raw coconut. So It's a lot of coconut. Yeah. So they, uh, yeah, like an Imperial Porter uh, coconut rum barrel. Yeah, they, uh, mm. you can see the floaties. Like, I think yeah. a little bit of. Is there some chunkage? Maybe not. Maybe I was. It's tasty. Oh, Let me tell really you. Good. I'm a, I like it. For a blend, that's dang good. No, that's really tasty. Blend? Just a really good... Uh, um, man, that's really good. Why did we wait so long on that one? Um, this one I just got. This Oh, well, this, that's and why. A few, actually, <laughs> so they do like every two months. They're about to release... Um, they're about to release number five, which is a... I think it's a, a sour IPA. Mm. It will be Kooks Blend 5. So we'll have that on the show. I was like, I saw that and was kind of, uh, um, but I was excited to try one of these. That's really, that, really tasty. What was that one we we tasted when we got up there to Humble Sea and we were like, why didn't we get this? It was like a, some sort of goes. What was it, that cuc- uh, cucumber goes? Oh my gosh, that was so good. And then we were having it on slushies. Yeah. Like we, yeah, we had, I think we I had only ordered. Right, I had, I had like one or two. Yeah, that was a legit beverage that should have been purchased. 
That's how good it was. We should have known better. It was really tasty. This is really tasty. Yeah, I'm a big awesome. fan of uh, what they got going on here. I like a blend. What do you think of that, Steve? I really like it. It's not a uh, super overpowering stouty. Yeah. And if you told me there wasn't chocolate in it, I would tell you you were lying. Right. Yeah, no, it is super, like, like yeah. super chocolatey. I don't taste a whole lot of coconut. It's a really good blend of, I mean, maybe I. That's what I'm tasting. Mm. I did, did, taste did you bring the, that knife? Yeah. In case you needed it, but you didn't. Oh, that's so good. That's that's dangerous, man. I didn't know you were a split blade operator. No, that's not a switch blade. <laughs> it's not a switchblade. That's a three-inch blade there, my friend. Danger. Steve, do you think you'd get a discount on your dental care if you brought that bottle into the dentist? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's like his dentist is the big porter guy. Yeah, that's right. Well, no, he's not. But somehow I messed that up. <laughs> he just he drank he drank he a porter once and, and like, liked it. And I just you gotta try like, I'm not really a porter guy. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, so I brought, be- last time I went in, I brought him that that um, collab from Stone and Society. Oh yeah, the, the IPA. Yeah, I had that. That yeah. was really good. The West Coast. That was really tasty. I couldn't remember the name of it. Yeah, which it's, I, it's got a weird name. But I I have, did you like it? I haven't I been like checking like. beers in. I thought it was really good. Yeah, yeah. We won't like, know. It was at Costco. I mean, they had. Oh, they was had it? it? Is that where you took it up at? Yeah, yeah. We won't know till the next time you go in whether they liked it or not. I liked it. I want an update. I thought it was really tasty. Yeah. I yeah, I, I thought it was one. good. I think I have one more. If I would have uh, taken a picture of the the uh, the beer or checked it in, I would have given that as my uh, my beer today. So that was probably the tastiest beer I had all week. Which before one? this? Um, the Society. Uh, now you got me wanting to look it up. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't remember it. It's a beer. West Coast. I haven't drank it. It's a West Coast. It's white can. It's a West Coast. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You and your West Coast IPAs. I got a couple of them in the fridge uh, for you. I think it was just called. I think it was just uh, called Stone or Society Stone West Coast yeah. IPA collaboration. Yeah. It was wow. literally like a generic. Yeah, that's pretty what, yes, simple. It was like yeah. It says Society you slash just Stone put beer. Next line, West oh, yeah. Coast collaboration. Uh, so, do you remember uh, the cans of beer that were just beer? Mm-hmm. That's this is no, it's a little before my time, but this is this is about as close as. Uh, what are you trying to say, I'm old. Ha <laughs> <laughs> got him. No, it was really really tasty though. That was a really good beer. This is good too. It I'm is. Gonna, I'm gonna take so far so so far. This is my favorite. Yeah, the. Uh, I'm a fan of what those uh, what those guys do up there. Mm-hmm. Obviously, keep uh, keep doing what you do. Okay, well, I'm going to... Oh, I just whiffed this next beer. What do you got there, Charlie? And, and last, but... No, don't pour that yet. No, I'm not pouring it yet. Not at least. This Charlie's is Granddaddy Grizzly, Old Granddad Bourbon Barrel Age Imperial Stout with blueberries, chocolate, coffee, hazelnuts, marshmallow, pecans, and vanilla added. And I think I have a bottle of this, so I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know if you do, because I was just looking at it. It looks like I had already checked it in. So if I'm pouring this one, we may have already drank yours. What? We'll when did see. that happen? I don't remember this. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm not pouring any more than that because I don't want you guys to miss out. Yeah, this might be our first double. First out? Double. Double stout. I don't know. I, our first repeat here. No, I don't did think we so. Do that one? No, we, oh, did, we did Blue Bear. So we mm. did Blue Bear. Ah, um, yeah. take a whiff of that, Steve. Whew. Yeah, that is really that is blueberry. Yeah, that is. Wow, that guy's amazing. Oh gosh, this is this is going to be damaging to my heart. I'm sure of it. Because if I don't have one of these, I'm going to be really disappointed in my own personal self. I could go over there and grovel at Kyle's. You know. At his feet. I tried to uh, pop that, I think, in uh, either up in Oregon or... Let me tell you, brother. Oh, that's super. If you'd have popped this anywhere but here... You'd have been bummed out? No, because I would have drank it either place, but, um, you know, it was... So if you take a smell of that, it's all blueberries. Yeah. And it tastes fantastic. I mean, I've... It's right up there with the regular blue bear. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know what else blue bear had in it, but this thing is 
Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> that is out. I think it was French oak barrel. Like it wasn't. This is a bourbon barrel, right? Mm. You know what? I think it might have helped it a little bit. To be honest with you, old granddad bourbon yeah. barrel. Wow, that's so tasty! Oh my gosh! And that is, oh, viscous. It is on. It's hanging on to oh. the sides of the glass. Let me tell you that right oh my now. My goodness. Oh, gosh, that thing smells fantastic. Yeah, so Blueberry was like a French oak barrel-aged imperial style with, with all the same adjuncts. So this is just the, the bourbon barrel. You know what? I think this um, might be better. Yeah? Yeah. But we can't go right head-to-head -head because we don't have another one of those. Okay, I'm putting it out there right now. I'm willing to trade three bottles for one bottle of Horace. Of uh, Blue, Blue Bear. Bear. Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. Best of luck. Yeah. I mean, three... Big hitters too. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll pull out my second one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three for one. Mm -hmm. That's a good deal. Best part is, is if you get it, then I'll drink all four of them. Exactly. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, I can give you three three beers so I can create room to <laughs> buy more beer. You know? <laughs> I got to make a room for one more beer. Yeah, I have been. Um, you know, it's funny. I always say, like, I'm always like, hey, I, I've been cut down on buying beer. And then I show up and, like, I have beer showing up at other people's houses or yeah. whatever. But, yeah. Um, that no, was I'm a not, nice little package that arrived today. That was a nice little package, huh? Whole yeah. case. Yeah. It was pretty. Yeah. the uh, That's one of my favorite beers. It just came out. It is. It's good. So I got to uh, got a bunch of beers to pack up for a week long trip to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. How many are you bringing back? I'm going to bring, like, <laughs> probably, like, I think I'm going to bring a bunch of Horace Little Bottles. Oh. Uh, because there's a little, there's this little beer bar that I like to go to called Ansari's. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like to bring in, like, like to swing in there over, over lunch and bring, like, three bottles of stout with me. <laughs> or, like, a crawler Just and, you know. Pour them out. And then I buy one beer. And then I'm like, hey, man. You want to try any of this? And the owner's always like, yes. And then he'll just go around and like everybody gets a taster. So if you just happen to be there at a, people bring in some banger beers, you yeah, know? Yeah, I bet. So like, like, especially if you bring in some, something like this, people are like, they'll never get a shot at it, you yeah. know, never get, never get to try it. So people are always pretty excited. This um, one here. Oh, that's, that's really good. Dude, that would be something you want to bring along there. Cause that would just blow people's mind. That blueberry yeah. and a stout. It's just, it is mm. lights out. I mean, it's just, it takes, it takes everything, you know, takes every prize right there, in my opinion. I mean, it's just, I don't know how he does it. I really don't. No, it's a, he's a magician. He's super, super talented. I'm excited. We'll see him actually here the, uh, on, uh, on Saturday. You know, does he have, does he have swag? Because I've never, I haven't seen much of that. He's got a little bit, Charlie. We could get you. Like I need that. a hat. And that uh, like a hat, a big hat. Didn't man. last time. Uh, Don't want a black T-shirt. That's one thing. Yeah, I'm not a black T-shirt guy. Anymore. He needs better swag. I, I will say that. So hey, we had a couple of uh, we had a couple of beers here, guys. As we we take a look at the different beers that we uh, that we that we tried, we had the Deschutes, the uh, the barrel aged Pilsner, uh, Key Lime. Um, we followed that with the. Uh, the Lost Abbey Ghost uh, Ghost in the Forest with Guava, super tasty beer. Yeah. Um, after wow. that came the the Kooks Club. The uh, that was good. The Imperial yeah. Stout, the barrel aged Imperial Stout Porter, and then followed by uh, Granddad Grizzly Horace. What, uh, yeah, pick your best one. Yeah, <laughs> I think we. You know, I it's think it's not a hard decision here. For me, I'd say it went like in the in the order that we had them. You know, the like the I think the I like the guava more than the pilsner, the kooks more than you know, um, yeah. And then you know, ended up in like the slow sipper that you can just enjoy Blueberry. for the next day. Yeah, I just don't get that. It's so amazing. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, blueberry yeah. to me is not a super flavorful berry, and this thing is like that's so right. far up front on the taste. It's ridiculous. I well, this is really that. where the club thing blows everybody else away, right? Because nobody, the only one you can buy right now is the, the Lost Abbey one, right? Right. Yes, correct. That you couldn't get this one, you can't get that one, and those are like, um, right. yeah, you, know, you could probably you, you could trade in the humble sea. They don't go for as you know the mm -hmm. the trade value of the Horus is mm -hmm. like cost pro. You know, I mean, you're like you buy a beer or get into the club. 
you right. know, kind of, I think is the... But it's just, it's... I, mean, I don't know if they sell for that anymore, but... I'm going to start digging through my bottles and... Double check, Charlie. I might uh, I might have a little something up my sleeve if uh, if you don't have one. Gosh. So Cook's what do you think, club. Steve? How'd you... Uh... Well, it's got to be the last one. I mean, it's yeah. just, just, that was like spectacular. It's like just, probably one of the best beers we've ever had, period. And then the top five are all horror spears. <laughs> right. right. It does It does seem <laughs> like just, an outweigh. I just don't next. know how we can keep that blueberry flavor in there. Yeah, and then you have so something else prominent. with chocolate and vanilla, and you're like, yeah. how can he mix those two together? I mean, like, right. the guy is a magician. Yeah. He <laughs> he's, uh, he's a wizard. Blueberries, chocolate, coffee, hazelnuts, marshmallows, pecans, and vanilla added. I mean, that just gets me. And he's got purple wax on it, which is super legit. <laughs> I think there's a couple more of those um, mm. Grizzlies. Gosh. Of that, that same that blueberry same line. Blueberry. Yeah. I, I feel like there's... Um, well, I know the, the logo looked familiar. That's why I was saying, hey, yeah, we've so had this before. But, um, well, he usually has birds on his Yeah, labels. the bear is the new thing. Um, yeah, some of them, like, we had one with a tiger on it recently, mm-hmm. and... Um, yeah, no, but that was definitely, yeah, that was tasty. That was really, really tasty. I'm super excited. You got to try it. Um, Dang it. it. smells so good. Yeah. Charlie, which, uh, how would you rank those beers? Yeah, horse, and then back the other direction. Yeah. Top. Top to the bottom. Yeah, it's it's a it's a 500 milliliter bottle, and it's yeah. we, we poured enough for each of us to really, really yeah. taste it. It's not like we're we're skimpy on it, but gosh, it's so good. No, yeah, that's tasty. I mean, beer. that's a bottle I could drink all by myself, 100%. And it's, I think it's, uh, what, 12 point, what is it, 12.2? Something like that. I don't see a number on there, but God, I guarantee it's at least 12%. Yeah. But well, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll tackle that Skyrider uh, here, here soon enough, which is another blueberry beer. We'll see how mm-hmm. the blueberries come through in that non-barrel aged beer. Oh, gosh, dang it. Now you want to say, hey, you know, should we get... Hang on to one of these and then oh, compare I'm not them. That. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to empty a fridge here, Charlie. <laughs> I got a fridge. We need to empty a few of those too. Yeah, yes, you do. So here it is. Till, Till next, next time. week, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Nice clinger. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. In compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.